We got the thermal camera out. I want to see how hot the GPU cable is going to get. Hey everyone, Digital David here. Today in this video, I'm going to be checking out the Cooler Master V850 SFX Gold Power Supply. Cooler Master did send me this product, but any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in this product or you want to find out more about it, the link to it will be in the video description. Here's a look at the retail box and packaging. Everything looks great. You'll see front and center ATX 3.0, PCIe 5.0. This will provide 450 watts of power to your GPU using one single cable. This features a 92 millimeter fan. Gonna run nice and quiet for you. 100% Japanese capacitors. You'll see our tech specs on the side right there. It also includes your SFX to ATX bracket, so you can use this in different sized cases. Now let's go ahead, let's open this up and see what's inside. Here are all the contents. First up, we got our product literature consisting of an installation guide right here. Depending on the GPU, what you're trying to use. Be sure to reference that to make sure you're setting up everything properly. Then you'll see we have a full user guide right here. Installation instructions, troubleshooting, warranty information. This does come with a 10 year warranty. Take a look at all of your main power connector, pin layouts, charts there, everything for you. Next, you'll see our bracket here, depending on the case we're gonna use this with. Cable management, bags of screws, all of our power cords and cables. Here's a look at our 450 watt cable right here. What's nice is we have that 90 degree adapter on it, clearly labeled for us too. See it from both sides and angles right there. And then last but not least, let's look at the power supply unit itself. This power supply is so tiny, it literally fits in the palm of your hand. Cooler Master logo and branding, 92 millimeter fan. Take a look at the side profile here. Cooler Master V850 with the logo and branding. Here's a look at the other side. We can look at it now from the top of the unit with all of our product information right here, front and center, 80 plus gold, 850 watts all of our input and readouts right there. We'll look at it from this side. You'll see we have a little sticker reminding us that the fan won't spin up until a certain temperature is reached. That's gonna help this stay nice and quiet for you. Toggle switch, power cable hookup, Cooler Master logo and branding again. Now we can look at it from the other side, all of our cables right here, motherboard, then look at our uh, PCIe CPU cables, our 12 VHPWR cable right there for our GPU at 450 watts. And we got some hard drive slots as well too, depending on what you want to power, any devices right there. Small and very compact, look at this thing. Now let's go ahead, let's power it up and try it out. All right, we have the power supply plugged in, powered on. You'll see the fan is not spun up yet because it's not hot enough yet, just under our idle load right here. We have our tester connected. Let's check out our motherboard cable connection right here. 5 to 5, 12 to 12, 3.3 .3 to 3.3. 12.2 to 12, 5.1 to 5, and a PG score of 160 milliseconds. Blue is good, everything is within range here. For that PG score, you wanna see a value anywhere between 100 and 500 milliseconds. Now we'll look at our PCI. So 11.8 to 12, blue is good. Again, we're getting everything to spec here. Then you'll see CPU 12 to 12, all is well there. And then lastly, we have our SATA connector here. So we have five to five, 12 to 12, 3.3 to 3.3. All right, so we have the power supply installed. I had this PC lying around and I went ahead and just connected and set everything up so we could quickly look at its idle specs as well as its full under load specs. Now keep in mind, you can use the included bracket to install it in a larger case like this, but the downside is gonna be the cable lengths are not gonna be long enough, typically depending on the size that you get. So. This is great in one regard, but not so great in the other regard. So right here to get everything to fit, we have it just resting very, very temporarily on there for this build. But you'll see on screen right now, take a look, currently consuming around 23 watts for our Ryzen 7 7700X at idle. And we'll just call it six watts for our RTX 3080 also at idle. You'll see some of the other voltages displayed. Everything's steady. 
streamlined, looking great as it's just idling along under no load. Now let's go ahead, let's stress this thing out. Five minutes into our full stress test, you'll see the CPU is currently being 100% utilized and we're at 132 watts. GPU's 99% utilized and we're at 317 watts. For that particular cable, again, it's rated up to 450 watts, so we have plenty of headroom. And yes, for those wondering, the fan is now spinning since we have it under a full load and it's being stressed, but the good news is very, very quiet. I can hear our GPU fan fan over any fan noise from this power supply. So chances are this is gonna be still one of the quietest things in your build. It will be overshadowed and overpowered by your system fans, GPU fans, cooling fans, all those other things as opposed to this making any noise, haven't heard any coil whine or anything along those lines. At the outlet, we're showing 75 watts, give or take, at our idle. You'll also see we have our kilowatt hours there, 0.878. You'll see our voltage here, 121.5, and our current amps at 0.673. Now under a full load at the outlet, you'll see 545 watts currently, 0.895 kilowatt hours, 119.7 volts and 4.631 amps. All right, our CPU's been stressed for 20 minutes now. Let's look at the results here. We've got the thermal camera out. I want to see how hot the GPU cable's gonna get. Right at about 150 degrees. Obviously, the further back we go, the cooler it's gonna get. You'll see our CPU cables up here at the top. A Little bit warmer than I expected, but this is a really funky configuration. And then we'll look at the power supply unit itself from the top. 108 degrees, give or take a little bit. Now let's go inside. It's definitely warmer up there. You can see most of the heat being built up right there internally, as you would expect. So now let me share with you my final thoughts after using this power supply. It's small, yet it's mighty that's what you need to know great for tiny builds like you're seeing right here you can get really creative yes you can use it in larger builds too but again cable length is going to be an issue for you it's nice that we have up to 450 watts supported with a single cable for our gpu so if you're looking to add some of the latest and greatest gpus look no Further, with that being said, I expect it to hold up great for years to come and we can buy with confidence since there's that 10 year warranty. By that time, you probably will have already upgraded your PC again.